Hello everybody, welcome in. Emperor Bubbles returns and we do not have a Total War League matchup. We're actually waiting for the championship to be played. So, with that said, please send your battle replays to me, preferably land battles. Uh, you can just join the Discord, there's a hashtag battle replay section. So please, please post there. And before we jump into these army comps and who's playing guys, like, comment, and subscribe. You don't know how much it means to the Emperor when I see those comments and those likes. So praise be indeed. Alas, it is more as Makadon going up against a former member of Total War League, Parminian. Parminian, a solid, solid fighter. He is Epris today. Here's Moore's Macedonian build. I know, I know Parminian loves Macadon. I'm surprised that he is not Macadon, but he's got the Companion Cap General. Moore does uh, three two Thessalians, Citizen on their flank. So four total Thessalians, center, some slingers, three slingers, uh, three Thracian warriors looks like, and a front line with some Militia Hoplites, two Militia Hoplite, oh wait, one, and three Thorax Sword, only three Thorax Sword, what's this guy? Oh, Thracian, of course, and then two Skirm Cav, we have the Mercenary Thracian Cavalry on each flank, and then here is Lord Parmenian, a little bit tighter formation, Sam Knight Warriors on each flank, four pikemen, Looks like, what, three Slingers, uh, two Tarantine Cavalry, make it four, and then the damage, four Thessalians, two Illyrian Levies, and then our Master Hellenic Rogue Cavalry General. He's going to be doing all the damage there as we press play 12 and a half minutes on the clock, and this is gearing up to be a fantastic battle. Praise be. Yeah, guys, please send in those battle replays. I... I, you know, okay, these last few days haven't recorded any videos, just, um, I do have some available, but, uh, you know, I want the best of the best, I don't want any, uh, you know, we, we could have, it doesn't need to be the best, it could be good, because I guess all the Total League battles, those aren't necessarily, necessarily the best, the praise be indeed, and I actually just saw in here there is an archer instead of a slinger, well, there's two archers. Are there two archers and one slinger? I think that's going to be the case here. As Macadon shifts, he answers Epirus's shift with a shift of his own. We'll see how Lord Parminian can handle his Tarantine Cavalry. A little bit of a fun fact about Parminian. He is a chess master. I think I think he won. Uh, we had a chess tournament in the Empire. He won that. Hey guys, we do all sorts of interesting stuff on the stream. Uh, I normally stream you know, about every single day except Wednesdays and Saturdays on twitch.tv slash curvebubbles. Yes, this is a shameless plug. <clears throat> As the Tarantine just feeling each other out here in the early beginnings of this battles. It's a Thracian against the Tarantine, so the Tarantine should have a pretty good advantage. You see 32 missile damage on those. Oh, both 32 missile damage. I think they beat them, though, in the melee attack category. Wait. Wait a minute, 40 melee attack, but 60 armor for the Tarantine, 40 armor for the Thracians. I still like the Tarantine in a melee ex uh, exchange there, <clears throat> but Parmenian probably will not be able to partake in that as look at who's closest. We got a citizen close, and this side, same thing as well. Make sure that uh, Moore keeps an eye on his men as he will be hit with some nice Kill him there from Parminian. Some do go down. No deaths on the Tarantine yet. Three on those Thracians. So a solid start from this man. You know who needs to return to Total War League? It's Parminian. That man needs to come back and come back strong. We want him back. I know the Empire wants him back. There's going to be some spots in Total War League Season 10. That reminds me, guys. Total War League Season 10. Right when the continuation, or when the when we finish up season nine, it'll be two weeks from that end date. It'll be commencing on a Friday. Details, surely a video will be coming out soon, a hype video as well. It's hopefully, you know, gonna be our biggest season yet. I wanted to get Creative Assembly to advertise it, but it ain't looking the best. But alas, in come the Tarantine, targeting the Slingers. Not just targeting, going in for a melee hit, dude. So they do get a few kills, killing eight. As the Thessalian was so close to come in and hit that Tarantine. 
there is some damage. I think a pillow might have. Wait, no, no pillow. Must have been a bit of a cavalry connection from the Thessalians. It's this frontal charge now. The left flank was the focus. And in come the Thessalians. In big Crushing these men. Putting them in the dirt. We have missed the big hits. I have missed the big hits. And there is a big hit indeed. As the companion calf trying to counteract. But it's the archers. Those close knitted archers who are ready to strike the pikemen. Putting their pike up. The Sam Knight in the general in as well though. Hitting those Thracians, guys, those Thracians very susceptible to cavalry charges. As we see, they're already down to 31 men. Citizen Cav in to engage in a moving back. Is Epirus doesn't want to... Doesn't want to engage just quite yet with his main force. See if more allows this retreat or if he's going to pursue. Looks like he is pursuing with some units. As those Sam Knights have turned, they throw a Pelham right into the dirt. Fantastic work from Moore. Always aware as there is his Thorax sword straight in. Just trying to find and kill those Sam Knights. Citizen Cav charge in Thracian Cav and Thorax swords. All engaging at the same time. So there's a melee pickup for Epirus. Routing those Militia Hoplite. This left leg looks like it's in good control for Lord Perminion. It's just a matter of how is the center of the board gonna, gonna shape up as those Levies in and the Sam Knights. The Sam Knights took quite a blow, 90 men, only only one loss on those Thorax. In come the Thracians. No Pike was up for the Pikemen. And those Thracians pick up 20 kills? What if they pick up 20 kills on that charge? Now the Pike is up, but they've already lost 20 men. It's a Slinger's fire upon. Good movement, good work here. Those the Thessalians now in to Epirus's Thessalian Cavalry and a Citizen Melee Cav help. But look at the fire from those Slingers and Archers, all focusing that Thessalian. I'm assuming they're focusing the uh, Thessalian. Yes, yes they are. Down to tw under 20 men. So now we can maybe shoot that Citizen Cavalry. So there are some pike engaged here. This pike in at 76, but still a little bit decent of a wrap around there on that thorax. Probably want to back off just to be safe. So now the whole left flank here. I guess it would be the right flank for Epirus has pushed back. Pushing back, trying to reform the men, maybe refocus the fight. Push these units, maybe get a little bit of a flank right here. Is in come some friendly to sand. The companion cap general down to 23 men. Now that is surprising. I'm assuming the focus is still being put upon here with the archers. He's got his chances. The Terran team come in trying to prevent that general from leaving. As the thorax swords take it a big hit from the Sensalian cavalry. Nice strike. Nice find. As they do have a perfect connection. Magnificent play from both sides here. Back and forth they go. This Sam Knight, high, high cost melee. Well, you know, mid tier, what, 700s? Out in the open. Thracian's gonna be shooting, the Thorax could target. The Tarantine Cavalry looking to hold. Oh, they were engaged with a Thessalian. They'd been constantly bombarded. Thessalian, Citizen, and now Thorax swords in. As a shift of a pike pushing out. It's a Macedonian central win as here comes a enemy cavalry. Pain, crush, slaughter. No match. Well, there's only 10 of them. Can these units be protected? That's gonna be big here as we go into the end game. Three archers still left. Let's see what the slingers hold. Oh, being found by Parmenian. Brilliant, brilliant find there. Hitting those slingers and hitting them hard. Ouch. So looks like there is a citizen cav in, but those Tarantine are not a uh, pushover. They should be able to take on that Tarantine. Here comes a find from the Thessalians in. Huge find and a huge win. As I think he's getting hit from both sides and with the Thorax swords, those slingers and archers are gonna be having a bad time. In come the pike and six Tarantine. What else can be mustered up here? 
to defend that. Since Citizen losing to the Tarantine, only losing three since we last checked. Sam Nice into the Thorax. Those Thorax taking the day. Now another cavalry unit for Macadon. Aid unable to protect his men. So they are hit and hit hard. 57 archers, those pikemen trying to get in to give some respite. But look who's coming. It's the no. Oh, this is this is Epirus's unit. I thought that was the or uh, Macedonian's general. Is in he goes, trying to prevent this assault. So good work there. Good find. So Thracian still holding strong. Forty-two men. As the militia hoplite put this pikeman in between a rock and a hard place. Here comes some friendly pike. Will it be enough? Will these pike be able to hold on? As the front will route, maybe he can turn. As still the archers are facing the pressure. They're in. Crushing, crushing blow. It's now the general, Hellenic Royal Cap General, refocusing his, uh, his attention. There's a double route there. Tarantine picked up those slingers. Wow. 24th the ceiling, 31th the ceiling. The Macedonian general is dead. So is the Epirus general, so even ground there. Both still have the units. Nine companion cav, 18 on the Hellenic cav. But the difference here, look at that. Two Thessalian shot cav. But how are you going to kill this pike? How, if you are Macadon, do you kill this pike? You got the Thracian shooting, that's good. Is the Tarantine taking a big risk? Charging that companion cav. As in comes the Hellenic. Oh! The Hellenic cav thought about it. Still seven on the companion. You've lost, what is that? At least five on those Tarantine. Still the ammo's being released. A connection. Thrace is taking a big hit. 13 on the Hellenic Cavalry. Those Tarantine, the big risk was taken. The companion have only lost two and the Tarantine are gone. They will not be coming back. So it's Pike against Thorax and the Salians. We'll see if these rear charges are going to be enough as they're in. The perfect time to strike. Great move there. The balance says, balance says it's all in Epirus' favor, but the Cav lies in Macedonian's wheelhouses. There's still seven of the Hellenic Royal Cav. They did stay alive. Huge risk and a huge hit. Into those pie king those men before they can get it down, but now the stick is up. The pike is up. Can they escape? Let us see here. Everything lying on that calf charge. So I see at least one going down. The two went down as the companion calf routing. We'll see if he can muster up the strength. I don't see the Epirus General. It's two pike. As the Epirus General is routed, these men need to get their pike down. Long, long Sarissa's trying to deal the damage. 91 pike, 55 pike, minute on the clock. 15th Thessalian, 19 and 21. You might just need to get these men right behind that unit. Line it up as quick as you can, but the pressure being applied. They're in. Not withholding any damage. That's a big hit. Oh yeah. There's a pike, 33 pike routing, the thorax routing, and the singular pikemen hold on as this one unit standing, the balance of power is turned. 20 Thracians, 83 kills, 168 kills on those Thessalians. 202, it's the Thessalian show. He's got a lot to focus on here. Melee, cavalry as he's in. I think it's gonna be too much as Macadon. Could potentially take this 10 seconds and counting unless there's a massive, massive route. It is finished. A hell of a battle on this Saturday of the week and Braze B. Indeed, there's your battle, your stats. Very, very even, very, very close. It's that late game cavalry keeping them alive, dealing all the damage. We saw that 202 Thessalian. Where is he? Right there, 204 kills. And just those archers, I think they had a little bit more ammo, but they could not be protected. So much pressure from Lord Moore as this one is all ogre. Good kills on the pike, actually.
just not quite enough guys thank you so much for watching remember to like comment and subscribe again until next time glory be upon thee and glory to the empire